It looks like a lake that would have pike, but who knows? There's a oh. hook. Hey on everybody. Welcome back to today's video. We're gonna be doing some kayak fishing in northeast Nebraska. We're gonna see what we can do today. Never fished this lake before. I'm gonna be actually pre-fishing a tournament that's coming up. It's an online tournament, it's a little bit different, but I'm in this tournament and we're gonna pre-fish this lake and let's see how this thing goes. You guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share this video. Do whatever, everything helps. Also, if you want some of the best fishing baits around, tmbaits.com, I'll have the link in the description. All right, yeah, I wasn't recording, but there is number one, Choked the Beaver. Just a little guy, probably about a pound and a half. All right, here we go. Just got the first one of the day. I didn't want to record until I actually found some stuff. Let that sink to the bottom. Oh! I just smacked myself right in the face. That freaking hurt. Yep, he broke me off. I get I don't know what it was, but something broke me off. Clearly. That was a clean break and I just smacked myself right in the face and that really hurt. I'm not gonna lie. It's okay. I don't think I got any. back up and this is just a custom beaver that I made out of June bug and chartreuse. Are you freaking kidding me? What is going on? This line must just suck. That's dumb. We are retied again. I don't know if there's like a pike or something down there. Or really what was going on. But hopefully this new line will fix the problem. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> this is my line. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I just caught my own line and got my lure back, and that was definitely a fish you spat it out. Well, maybe it wasn't. I don't see no teeth marks. Oh my god, that's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Alright, we'll throw him over there. Well, I just caught my own line. I was just 
just on my way here. And, um, yep. Oh, there he is. He is fighting for this net. Oh, that might be my PB. Eh, he's chunky. I don't know if he's that chunky now. Okay, well, I mean, this is in the middle, and I just threw a random cast, and boom. Oh, gosh. That's a nice fish right there, boys. That is a nice fish. Look at that, dude. That's a nice one. Ooh. He's chunky. Holy cow. Look at that, dude. Look at that. That is crazy. Holy cow. Alright, let's get a weight on this, dude. He's a nice fish. He's a chunky boy. 1.79. Alright. a nice one. What's uh measurement 15. Alrighty. Here we go. Nice one. Let's let this dude go. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna be fishing more in the open now. And they really, really, really freaking like this uh red color. Like really like it. I mean, this fish is, or this lake has good size. Well, I mean, my first two fish were the biggest fish I've caught all this year for bass. So I mean, that tells you something. Head. We're gonna go fish off this point. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and we're going to, if you guys don't know, that's an irrigation video. That needs more water than what it has right now. Um, because this lake is super low. As you can tell, look at that stump. Ooh, that'd be a good fish in spot. Ooh. Ooh. If this was high, all of that right there, that'd be some juice stuff. With all those rocks and everything. Alright. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stay here in the middle, I'm going to fish all around, you know, as I float back, as I float back towards the dam, and, uh, we've got our back to the dam right now. I'm just going to fish my way back, and then I'm going to swim, paddle back up, and then we're going to go fish over there off the point, stuff like that. I guess technically that point's about right here. I don't know if it goes out that far, it definitely does not. Gonna come here, and we're just gonna kind of cruise on back to this. Right. All right, let's get to fishing. Hey. Cross my fingers, this is where the big one's gonna be. <clears throat> oh, there's one! Oh, that's a nice one! Oh my gosh! Oh! Don't jump! That's a nice one. Yep, sitting right off that log. That's a decent one. Come on, net man, be better. Oh wait, I am the net man. No, 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 I'll get you, bud, over here. No. Okay. Whew. 
about that same size as last time. Look at that guy. He's a little bit bigger. Nice guy. I'm gonna think about that two pound range. Look at that dude. These guys are chunky. These guys are eating well over here. Eating really well, which is good. It's really good. Gotta be more. Sitting on that log. Has to be. attention. I wasn't freaking paying attention. I felt my, I was like, why in the world is my lure just like disappearing? God dang it. It's time for a new. This guy was beat up in the first place. PB and J. Dang it. Okay, let's try some pumpkin seed. I'm liking the red. Let's try a pumpkin seed. There's something different at him. Ow! That went right through my thumb. I really do think pumpkin seed is an overrated or under what that's what I meant, not overrated. Overrated is the exact opposite. Overlooked bait color. Um pumpkin seeds actually what I caught my P B on. So I think a lot of people just look at it, eh, you know, nobody else uses it. You know, I mean there's nothing really special about it, but exactly. You know, is there really something special about watermelon red? Um yeah, I mean I caught my P B on this color, so I think it's just an overlooked bait, that or color, not bait. That I mean, eh, nobody else uses it, so why am I gonna go and use it? So think about that next time you uh, go in and looking to purchase some TM baits. See, I didn't even make the color for the fair. I just didn't have time, but if I could have, I would have. Alright, so what I'm going to do next here, after I fish this little culvert here, I'm actually going to go to the spillway, because when this thing's actually full, there's a little spillway on the other side of that. Yeah. I don't think, it's not going to be flowing, so I'm afraid that's going to be like, kind of dried up and gross looking and stuff like that, but... Who knows? I want to try it. Because that mask can see, and I've never been able to try that. This is a different link. I'm not going to say the name just yet. I'm not 100% sure on how I feel about this lake. Not very many people know about it. I didn't know about it until somebody that's fair told me about it. So, thanks, dude. Yeah, shallow back in here so I don't expect too much and I don't really expect anything from that unless there's like a pipe I don't know if there's pipe in here or not 
it looks like a lake that would have pike, but who knows. There's a oh, oh, don't come off, don't come off. This fish is swimming right towards me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, where's my net? Oh my god, do not come off. Do not come off. This is a nice fish. Guys, this is a, oh my god. This is catfish, dang it, dang it. It's a freaking catfish. God dang it. Ugh. Okay, I need to loosen the drag on this, first of all. Second of all, that is a nice catfish. Ain't going from, holy crap. Look at that guy. Holy cow. Golly. I am struggling to get this guy up. Why is this drag so tight? God dang it. Guys, I really thought that that was my PB right here. That, I mean, yes, this is a really, really nice catfish, but god dang it. I'm just going to get him tired out. I really don't want him flopping all over me. That is a nice channel. I haven't seen a channel that big in quite some time. Come on. Nope, not there. I want him to get up here, but at the same time, I wouldn't be super mad if he came off. This is the first day that I've ever had to use this net. Dang it. I don't get over here. I don't think he's going to come off. Oh, I'm struggling. It's too big. is too big for that freaking net. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I can't get him in the net. He's too big. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Look at that sucker. Holy crap! Look at this dude! That is a nice freaking channel! Oh my gosh! That might be one of the biggest channels I've ever seen. Holy crap! you but I really thought you were gonna be a my PV bass. Oh come on. Oh. You're not very nice. Don't bite the hook. Dude you you're biting the bullet weight. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that dude. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that dude. Oh I would get a weight on you, but I think it's time for you to go. Golly. Oh, man. That's freaking crazy. Oh my god. Okay. Please tell me I was recording. I would. Yeah. Oh. That's insane. Alrighty. We made it up here to the top. That's what it looks like down below. Like I said, extremely low. 
Oh, there's a fish right there. I can see him. I don't know if there's carp in this lake or not. I would assume so. That's what I'm guessing that's what that is. But um, very, very, very sticky and sinking mud. So I ended up having to go right next to the spillway. But uh, yeah, I tried to go in over there and uh, mud was very, very sinking. But we got up top here. We've got a chatterbait and just a regular lure. We're gonna go see what we can do here. I can already see one, two, and three fish. So we're gonna go down there and throw this. I didn't fish here long. Um, I didn't catch anything. It's kind of, first off, it's kind of sketchy. And second off, it smells really, really bad. Um, there are, those are carp down there. And yeah, I'm gonna go back up to the kayak and we're gonna get back out to the water. All right, we are back. And look what I found. I found another one of those customs. So that makes me happy. We're gonna get back to fishing um, on the open. And then, so after you know, a couple casts here, I'm gonna start going back around. Because, uh, I mean, I've got all day, basically. It is 12.30 right now. So. Going, guys. So, um, it is starting to sprinkle just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I don't think it's gonna add up to much. Um, we've got all those blue skies over there. It's going pushing it this way. So uh, We changed over here. I was throwing a little craw. Whoa, hit me right in the face Throwing a chatterbait now, but uh, I was throwing a craw down here at this tree and uh, I just sat here at the same spot The wind has died down now. It was pushing me everywhere So I'm gonna try and get up around this tree and sadly my GoPro memory is full. So I cannot record on that anymore. I can't remember if I said that or not, but I'm gonna flip around on this tree. But if I do catch something, hopefully while I'm in the middle of the fight, I can pull out my phone. I mean, you guys won't be able to see much, but I don't know, who knows? But I'm going to go around here. Might throw the chatterbait a little bit and then throw the craw. I'm trying to get something in this tree. I know there's one in this tree because well, something followed me at first and this tree is a very good looking tree for bass and uh just any fish in general so we're gonna try and get something out of here hey guys i was just sitting here fishing and well i just found this nest quick bottle you know just kind of floating weirdly and um if you guys don't know what that is but that is a homemade handmade jug uh they call it someplace in nebraska it's illegal i'm not sure if it's legal in here um so yeah there's a handmade jug right there I'm going to go and pull it up and see what's on it. Alright, I'm putting you guys in between my meat. Just in case. Oh gosh, you did my slip. Show you all how. This is 100% Alrighty, we got this catfish off. I don't know if I can show you guys, but the other side of his face, that line, this guy was abandoned, or this jug was abandoned. The hook is so far into him that I just had to cut the line. But you can tell that he's been on here for quite a while because the line has cut all the way through his mouth, past his eyeball on the other side and he's going to be blind in his left eye. But I can't really flip him over, but it's a nice catfish. I'm gonna let him go. Um, yeah, oh, there you go, now you can see it. It's cut, passed through his eyeball, and he's messed up, and uh, hey guys. <sighs> throwing a green, or a watermelon red stick bait. Look at this catfish. There's a ton of catfish in here. It's crazy. Yeah, watermelon red stick bait. 
I'm gonna get this guy out of the water and I'll take some pictures and take another video for you guys. I don't think you realize the size of this catfish. Look at that, the tail goes all the way back to here and it's bent. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my. Oh, this is crazy. I'm gonna get a picture of this. Dang, it's a giant, we're gonna get a release on this guy. Well, we just got that catfish released and we got everything back to normal guys I'm telling you we're trying to go for bass here and these catfish are just destroying the soft plastics um, I've only caught one other catfish than these guys or these two that I've caught today on soft plastics and that was up in South Dakota um, This is just crazy. So there you go. There's your proof right there that catfish, you know, they're not just live bait um, predators, so uh, we got the stick bait rigged back up. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. And we're going to go and try to catch a bass. I like catching these catfish, but our main goal is we're trying to pre-fish a tournament. This tournament is a bass tournament, not a catfish tournament. So trying to catch some bass here. All right, guys. Here's another nice fat bass again. Sitting there throwing an orange blast football jig with a uh, orange blast beaver for the trailer. We're back here at this other spot. This guy go. All right, guys, we just took him to this guy right here. This guy, I'm not 100% sure, but he might be close to my PB. Um, we're gonna go get a weight on him. I'll get the hook off. Um, I did switch the jig up to like a green pumpkin jig. To be honest with you, I'm not for sure if I bought this or if I made this. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little, not a little, that's a big fish right there. Um, I'm gonna get a weight on him. I'll take some pictures and I'll get back to you once I get the weight. All right, here's a video of me holding him right here. Just by holding him, I can tell that he's probably not my PB, but I'm still gonna weigh him anyways. There's that jig for you. Football jig with a green pumpkin tea and baits beaver on the back. Let's get a weight on him. All right, I weighed him. He's 2.10 pounds. Still a really nice bass. He looked bigger in the net like all fish do, but uh, still a really nice bass. Let's get a release on him. Ooh, geesh. He's feisty. All right, guys, here's the last fish of the day. As you can see, it's starting to rain again. Uh, this guy, I do not think, or this time, I don't think it's going to stop. So there we go. Last bass of the day. I'd say a very successful day. So we're headed home. All right, guys, got the kayak up here, got the pig up here. We're going to get all loaded up before we get struck by lightning. Um, starting to rain a little bit even heavier. So we're gonna get loaded up. We're gonna get out of here.